Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So uh, I'm hanging out with the boys and the girls here in the Command Nation in our Discord and also, um, you know, just in YouTube space here. So I, I was talking to Padma for about you know, a good few minutes prior to my recording, and there's a lot of things going on today, so I just want to recap with you, and you're going to hear the dialogue, the conversation that we have, you know, because we've been tracking Tesla for a long, long time. And, um, and hey, guys, even though it, it's just me and Padma, but you're all more welcome to jump in and, and talk about this because this is all exciting time here. Um, so how are you all doing? What, what do you think of today? I mean, today it's 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 a pretty good day for for Tesla uh, for all those who want to buy Tesla. Um, actually, the best time to buy Tesla was first thing in the morning. I sold out of that position right before it hit thirteen oh six or something like that. I had a bid for like thirteen oh one, so I would I would buy it. I would I would exactly buy because I had 1301 and it hit 1301 at very at the very bottom, uh, at the bottom of like 930s 940s, but um, but I sold I, I sold I got out of the position to buy clip because um, yeah so wow what do you all think of that today? Um, I I was able to buy some more uh, to just to you know reach my goal. Come here, like that. That was my plan. I wanted to get to eight thousand stocks, and I was falling short of some six hundred, seven hundred stocks. So, I was gradually picking up um, Tesla yeah. in the past week. Yeah. Um, go back to thirteen oh one. Um, you know, by the time I I started looking at it and started reacting, it was already into thirteen twenty two. One <laughs> one batch was thirteen twenty two, and then the some somewhere at thirteen thirty. Yeah. Um, the, my my highest price that I paid today was thirteen thirty. Yeah. The lowest I was thirteen twenty two. Did did you um, did did anybody else besides Patma bought uh, Tesla today, or you all just kind of watch uh, watch and see? I've already spent my money for the time being. So. Are you spent all your money already? Yeah, I I spent on Friday when okay everything was red, and so I picked up and some stuff and. And uh, spent the last of my reserve for the month. Yeah. Well, you your your cost average have dropped below me now, so I'm I'm deeply jealous. It's like a race. Me and Dwayne, we're racing to see who has the lowest average. At least for now, I'm done picking up Tesla. I'm I, I'm at twenty eight hundred. I might end up at three thousand. For yeah. now, I'm holding up my other positions. Yeah. Uh, Avenger, uh, did you did you pick up? Any more Tesla? Oh, okay. T and Bob, do you pick up any? Yep. Uh, no. I had an order set at thirteen dollars. Oh. You know, I couldn't be online to change it. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the sideline? Yeah. A lot yeah. Of... Was awesome. So I had, I had. Uh, I pick up a lot of Tesla. Uh, for those who don't know this, I have multiple accounts. I have one account I only bought Tesla, and I have another account where I have that's the original account, Bitto, um, uh, Clips, and TSLY. The account that I, I show everyone all the time, that the YouTube account I, I, I talk about, that that is the one um, I I was in. That's the one with the two thousand four hundred something share of Tesla. And I actually put a purchase order. I just put a thousand dollar, and um, I just put a thousand dollar for it. And the, at the end of the month, I'm gonna get two thousand dollars. So I'm. That's why I wasn't too rush in some way because in about a few days I will get more money. So I was I wasn't sure. The thing the thing the problem with me was is this. I already reached my goal for Tesla. You know, which is two thousand dollars a month to receive from Tesla. I know. And not only that, my my portfolio is really unbalanced. Uh, Tesla is oh, it's eighty percent, and by buying by putting a thousand dollar, now it's going to go over ninety percent, and uh, and I was really uncomfortable. I I no matter how much I love Tesla, at the end of the day, basic logic of investment, basic basic foundation investment need to be applied. You know, 
Uh, that is, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. First of all, there's other yield max I could div diversify to it also. I don't, it don't have to be Tesla. But it's just so juicy. I mean, it's like $13. I, able, I can bring my cost average down. And so I did put a bid for it. And now the reason I, I saw this last night, uh, so if you look at the, the overnight, uh, when at around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning when I was driving to work, the price was sitting around 13.11. At 13.11, I just gamble. I was like, you know what? It's probably going to hit 13.01. And that's what I, I put a bid for. To put $13 as a bid for, so far, from my experience, it's very, very tough. It seemed like nothing, most stock, they don't like to break that 13, you know, that, that whole number plane. I don't know why. So I figured 13.01 was a good number for me to use. And it came down to 13.01 today. So I would have got it or I would have missed it by a few, you know, fraction of a penny. But I, I believe I would have got it at 1301. Um, and, but right as soon as I got to work, I changed my mind. I changed my mind because at the end of the day, I need to build clip because that's my, that's my second holding I need to build. Because if I don't build it now, I will never build it because Tesla is just so good all the time. It's just like at some point you got to say enough is enough. You got to go build it, you know. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I made the right decision or the right call. Depend who I talk to. Uh, some people would say, no, keep on building Tesla because it's cheap right now. And some people would say, no, you got to go work on your goal and your project, your plan, which is to build your second income, uh, which is at this point is clip. Now, it's not clip, but it's the, the fourth week, the fourth week income, which SVOL fall in that category, clip fall in that category. So, um, yeah, that's what I... Uh, Man, so uh, I, I'm. Is did anybody else run into uh, a, a dilemma? Like, I, I think me and Dwayne the only two would run into a dilemma. What wasn't sure what to do with this thing. So it, it's an interesting day, Kamer. Yeah. Um, Tesla was my um, you know primary uh, breadwinner uh, for income generation in my portfolio. Yeah. So I bring it to a level where I can generate income uh, and continue to pay my mortgage without having to draw down from my 401k when I retire. Yeah. So that was the goal. Uh, so when I calculated, uh, I needed like uh, 8,000 shares for me to do that. Yeah. And if I can invest that, in spite of it is it, it losing its uh, principal value, So it, in case if it loses further, it will be able to uh, substitute for the loss and continue to generate the amount that I was looking for, which is like 4,600 uh, a month. Uh, and uh, that's how my the magic f figure of 8,000 uh, was uh, on my target as a plan. Yeah. So I was able to achieve that. And now um, my, my second task is to track its uh, performance, its yield month on month and uh, probably um, decide how much to reinvest in Tesla depending on how much it is losing, right? Um, so th this is w one point. The second point was uh, I, uh, in my observation of this two months, Clip is solid, right? Like um, it goes to a little bit down to 1787 or, you know, 1785. Uh, but then again comes back to 18 and it keeps like with the 50 cents, um, range it keeps like moving only 50 cents right like yep. you know up and down but gives you like 83 cents at least this year so um, you know it's not a bad idea to continue to grow Tesla uh, not Tesla clip it was my conclusion so I'm on a mission now um, when my yield starts coming I wanted to reinvest that in clip or any other fund which I feel comfortable gives me yield at the same time provides me that stability right uh, of the uh, core price uh, we know nothing is going to remain if it launches at 20 it will no particular etf fund is going to remain at 20 it is probably going to lose a little bit but you know not uh, so much that i have to worry about what will happen will it fold back to half uh, like you know reverse split or you know will they like you know in one of the calls uh, uh, jay said they will give back the money for sometimes uh, so i i i don't want that to happen to tesla or any of the funds that we are betting on so i wanted to you, you know observe at least for the next 24 months why i keep next 24 months is 
uh, in this 24 months i'll be able to get back mostly 75% of my investment out of this funds yeah no, so I, i i missed the first point but your second point was you're going to you're going to you're going to grow you're going to because you already max out 8000 you're going to grow clips uh, next so similar to what i'm doing and then the right. third point was that uh, you're going to keep it for 24 months uh, because you're going to get essentially your money back uh, so in one year because it's 40% uh, you know yield if you buy it now oh sorry that's clip i'm sorry um, i don't know what the yield is for tesla it's uh, somewhere around 50% so in one year you will get 50% of your money back in 24 year uh, 24 months which is 2 years you will get 1% of your money back after that you're spending the house money um uh what what was your first point again i'm sorry i just want to my first point was like you know what what is the uh, reason for you know me keeping my 8000 as a goal is buying 8000 stock at that time when i calculated it will give me around 4600 a month and yield right i needed yeah. that to keep paying my mortgage so I didn't wanted to draw from my 401k I wanted to pay off from uh, yeah. you know the, no it's the, a very good it's a very good investment strategy because this is why I talk about going after income a lot because you have money you have a source of income to do whatever you want to do whether you spend the money or go buy something uh and and that's so important so you with with 8000 share of Tesla You're getting roughly like six thousand dollar. Let me just do the calculation real quickly here. Um, uh, so even you use the at whatever number you want to use, you know. So let's say for example, eight um, thousand share time. You're using the the last month payment. You're getting four thousand six hundred forty. But if you use the average, I think the average is seventy percent, seventy cents now. So eight uh, thousand time point seven zero. That's the average. That's fifty six hundred, but if you used its average high, which is which is the number we use all the way until August, uh, August was the first time that it you know it it changed the average. So we were using eighty three for a while, and uh, that was the average high, and at eighty three cents, you're essentially getting six thousand six hundred forty. So you range from four thousand six hundred and somewhere in the middle is five thousand. So you're getting about five thousand. We predicted uh, we predicted this thing may hit seventy cents, and um, so if it's seventy cents, I'm just going to do the math here for you. So time point seventy cents, um, you're going to get roughly five thousand six hundred. Okay, but either way, you're going to get about five thousand dollar. And I think to me, that's five thousand dollars a month, every month. Just think about that. For example, uh, as long as that dividend doesn't change that much, and as long as the um, it This is just great money. It's just it's just an awesome money. Not many people can do this because you have a lot more money. Here. But however, you can build up to it. Like I am building up to it. I can see the rainbow on the other end of the road. You know, like because this this number here is essentially my number two years down the road or two more years down the road. But the only thing different is is that uh, I may not be all. All in Tesla because I max out all Tesla already, but I'm gonna go into um, I'm gonna have clips. I'm gonna have my third my third fund. I don't know what my third fund is right now because Bitto. I'm kind of like I'm 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 ready to ditch Bitto. So essentially Tesla clip and maybe QQY or something like that. Depend how how it worked out or maybe the new Rex share. So depending how they work out. Uh, so that's uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Does anybody else want to jump in um, on on uh, Patma uh, position? There is one more uh, tidbit of information that I wanted to add to this. Yeah. Um, is uh, I I already invested about 143 shares in Apple uh, last month, right? Um, in share what? I met Apple. Uh, Apple's uh, oh, Apple, version. Apple, yep, yep. So um, I made a conscious decision today morning. Okay, what is important for me? I need to quickly get to uh, the uh, yield uh, more than a stability at this point in time. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Makes sense. So 
I sold 100 shares of my Apple today, which was up. Yep. Slight above my uh, pr- uh, stock, uh, uh, you know, investment that I invested in Apple. Yep. Your initial Slightly. investment. Yep. Yeah. Few few cents, but I was okay. I took that out and bought Tesla, which was lower in the market today. Market price was lower for Tesla. I bought more. What this is going to do is instead of like na- instead of nineteen dollars, I got Tesla at thirteen. $13.22. Uh, $13. Yeah. It's giving me more stocks and potentially it is going to get me more yield as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, this is the twist I did. Uh, you know, this wasn't planned, but I was flexible to change my plan to, uh, you know, so that I can get more out of the same amount. I am not investing more into high yield. Uh, my overall um, allocation of high yield investment remains the same. But I increase the probability of getting more returns. That's that's the only flavor I added. Yeah. So you're doing exactly similar what I'm doing. You, I we anchor. I anchor my portfolio to Tesla, and I'm collecting the dividend yield from it. And then I use the yield to buy other funds and to do other things. Um, so, uh, not the yield. I'm sorry. The the dividends to buy other funds and other things. So, uh, I. I applaud you for doing this because I probably would do the same thing because what's the point of being safe now? Uh, that when you buy Apple, you, you want to be safe. And because because it's just a, a steady, steady, you know, steady uh, flow, it doesn't fluctuate. Well, the problem when it doesn't fluctuate, the yield also come down too, you know, so it's kind of like, uh, and the dividend is lower. So the higher the yield or the higher the risk, you know, the higher the fluctuation, um, you know, the more the more reward, the more return you get. Um, I mean, there's other yield max that's pretty good. There's a lot of yield max that's much better than uh, than Apple. Um, you know, that that can actually pay pretty good dividends. I mean, for a few penny more, if you if you go the opposite, why not just buy NVDY uh, for twenty one dollars? So essentially, like for two dollar more, you can get a high paying dividends with through N- NVDY. So they're good. But, or you can go less and get OALK. I mean, think about OALK pay more than Apple and at $13.20. But if you're paying $13.20, might as well buy Tesla and just keep building that. So that we, one thing I like about the yield max is you have a lot of options. You have a lot of configuration you want to do. The only configuration that I, I just don't really see a drill in is, is Disso, which is Disney. And... Um, you know, it hasn't paid yet, but still, it's 1968, and it's the only one that doesn't excite me. The other one that I just kind of look with my left eye open is Connie, because there's just a lot of people talk about Connie. They just, and Connie is dropping, the price is dropping, and I can't wait to see the dividend. The dividends on the first payments of Connie is going to be a lot, because it's 45 days, not 30 days. It's 45 days of, of premium harvesting so it's it should be a lot more it should be like at least 90 cents or, or more um I, but i could be wrong i could be wrong so but the price is dropping for connie uh there's uh there's opportunity that those who bought at 20 dollar you know hey you know what that's what matt was talking about the key part to play yield max is to know when to enter the market if you enter the market too high. Imagine you enter the market at 1820, uh, 1830, 1820 today, which is a lot different from entering the market at $20 or entering the market at $21. It's a huge difference because uh, because they, when this price go down, um, then you, you don't feel the, uh, the effect from it. Okay. Now, I want to get, get talk to the second points from uh, Pat, my second point, which is clip. And um, and this is what I bought. I ended up buying Clip. I bought Clip at seventeen eighty seven something eighty something. I forgot the dollar amount. And uh, so somewhere around around noon time, yeah, around right around here, I bought um, eighteen seventeen eighty. Now I was I was playing around at seventeen eighty. So I, my initial bid was put seventeen eighty. Um, I missed that, and then I went to eighty one. I missed it. So every time I do it, I keep missing it. So um, I end up just I end up just buying at 17, 1787 or something like that because as long as it's under seventeen ninety I'm happy because it's been holding it's just been holding out for a long long time 
uh, for the whole month, it's just been hovering around that $18 range. Um, the one thing I like about it is that clips give you an average of 90 cents. That's the average for clip. Uh, so um, the lowest time ever clip uh, ever ever was back in January when it came out. It came out in January, and then uh, and then pay out for 56 cents. And after that, at one point, pay a dollar and 16 cents. Just think about that. That's crazy. But its average uh, its average is 90 cents. So I'm growing. I'm just I'm just growing that that side of my portfolio. I want to reach 1,000. Um, the only thing that, see, I, at first I thought about it. I actually thought about this. If I if I don't buy Tesla at $13, the next question I ask, will it come back to $13 again? I, I truly believe that. Tesla is the most unreliable. I don't know how somebody calculates Tesla. you got to have PhD to, to calculate it. This thing just move. It, it has mood swing that's plus or minus of $30, you know, or 10%. It's just extreme measurement one way or the other. So it's, it's, it's so volatile. I can see why nobody, I can see why nobody wants to put their pension plan into Tesla. And, you know, like it's just, it's just crazy how much volatile it is. Um, so the, 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 the thing with Tesla now, because Tesla is so volatile, Tesla is affected by it, and and I was just talking to Padma back in April. We were having the same conversation right here in April that you know it was it, at one point it reached twelve dollars. I remember I, I was talking to you know a whole bunch of people, uh, people like Matt and stuff like that. You know, uh, just talking to them about you know is this thing going to get out of? Are we going to get out of this thing? Now back then I didn't have a lot of money in it. You know, invest in Tesla uh, yet. Uh, but however, I have money in it, so I was just kind of like, "Are we gonna get out of this thing?" It's like it's a whole month long straight, you know, from from April all the way until it hit June before it starts going back up. But when it go up, it went up strong. It went all the way up to eighteen dollars. That's where I got it. I got it at the highest point, eighteen dollars. And then, um, but back in January, it's also was thirteen dollar. It hit thirteen dollar three times within this year. Well, I want to say maybe four times, yes, four times within this year. So in Jan back in January and December, uh, January, February, mostly just January. Okay, I'm sorry, January, and then April, and then August, and now September. So it hit it hit thirteen dollar four times within within one year. So my gut feeling, it's probably gonna do that again in 2024. So that's why I was like, you know what? I already maxed out my Tesla. I am comfortable. I'm going to go build on this other guy. But however, I'm going to still try the DCA down. So I'm not just putting, I'm not putting a thousand dollar every time into Tesla. I'm just going to buy one share here, two share there. So every time it hit $13, I'm just going to buy one share, two share. That's it. I like, like this, like I bought one share today, even though I didn't, you know, I bought all clip, but I bought one share. Tomorrow is still going to be thirteen dollar. I'm going to buy one share, and as long as it's still thirteen dollar something, I'm going to keep buying a share. But buying one share does not move my needle at all because I have so many. It does not move the needle. But however, over time it will, because I already I already max out my Tesla, and I don't need to I don't need to throw a big chunk of money. Now, uh, like Dwayne, he he. He has a lot of Tesla also, but I don't know what is what percentage is in his portfolio. In my portfolio, it's not it's ninety percent now. It's crazy, and and I'm I'm just I, that's that's the reason why I'm so adamant about trying not to maximize this thing. Uh, and Dwayne, well, how, what's what's your percentage of your portfolio? I'm probably about uh, seventy five to eighty percent in yield max with. Tesla encompassing about sixty percent. Okay, so you have like a yield max seventy percent. Well, I have Tesla at <laughs> forget about yield max. <laughs> Tesla, just Tesla. Oh, yeah. So that that's a huge concern on my part. That's that's the reason why I, you know, at the end of the day, I gotta I gotta practice good investment strategy principle foundation. 
you know, buy low, sell high, stay with the dividends, don't sell at a loss. And, uh, you know, so these foundation principle and one of them is, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So if you list like 20 things or like 10 things not to do, um, you know, as a foundation of basic investment principle, I kind of violate a lot of those things already. Um, so that's that's the reason why I gotta I gotta bring it back down to earth a little bit. All right. Well, now, does anybody else want to jump in and, and say something before I shut down the recording? <laughs>